Republicans went to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial in Washington, D.C. to pay our respects to the officers who lost their lives in the line of duty. Today at the National Police Week begins, we continue to show our full support of our police officers by saying thank you. Thank you to everyone who wears the badge. Our nation is blessed to have the bravest, most professional, most capable officers in the world. For those protectors of peace, stopping criminals, saving innocent lives, and helping our communities is more than a job. It's a way of life. And as you sit and talk, we have many who were officers before they took the job as members of Congress. They know firsthand what it's like to walk out the door. And they've had friends not come back. We have members who were officers who were actually shot in the line of duty and continue to be able to serve. We know each and every day that we've watched the rhetoric in this nation move when the Democrats' majority of defunding the police. We now see that a number of members uh, that serve as officers look to retire. And the one thing about serving in law enforcement is not a job. It is a way of life. And many times it follows from generation to generation. But now when you speak to those who wear the blue, they openly talk about maybe it's not a job for their children to do. We need to show the respect, we need to show the funding, and we need to stand up for the law enforcement officers to make sure that they can continue to do the job to keep our streets safe. We've watched what this movement from the Democrats of defunding the police have done to our cities. I come from California. I watched the former speaker's city of San Francisco to be nothing what the city once was. I watched Nordstrom's close their stores. I watch grocery stores that pride themselves on opening up have to close because of the robberies or the drugs on the streets. That even the governor is now calling in the National Guard. We don't want San Francisco to be the cities across this country. We want to change the course of history. And that's exactly what this conference will do. With that, I want to call up our, our majority leader, who knows firsthand what it's like if someone comes forth. He would not be here today to serve if it wasn't for the law enforcement, risking their lives, not just to defend his, but to everybody else on that baseball field that day. Let's, for Steve Scalise.